Max. It's nice to meet you. Are you just woken up? Yeah, well, we can't have you hanging around here all afternoon, can we, love? So I'm just going to make him a little drink and... Um... It's nice to see you and Steve are so close. Oh, he's all right, really. What will be a sec? There it is again. Paint or glue or something. Can't you smell it? Oh, it's probably just the garlic. I'll get it. Definitely stronger in the kitchen. Imagine you now, eh? No, there he is, my little angel. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, of course you can. Oh. There you go. Hello, darling. Oh, he's so oh. gorgeous. <laughs> Um, I just came to say that the christening is definitely next Thursday. Oh, great. Hey, Sophie, remind me to book an appointment with Audrey. I look my best for my godson. Oh, I'll put the kettle on, eh? Oh. Lovely. Hello, treasure. So, um, how was Madrid? Oh, it was lovely. Yeah. Lots of sightseeing and shopping. And the food, you can get an omelette the size of your hat. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> can you smell paint or something? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. And who's this? It's called Jenny. Oh, it's an unusual name for a boy, Teddy. <laughs> and does Jenny like living here with Becky and Steve as well? Yeah, he sleeps with me when my mum is not here. Um, I'm trying to get him used to sleeping in his own bed, you see. Oh, actually, I've got a pamphlet about that, if you're interested. No, we're fine. He's, he's doing great. Only with all the changes he's been through lately. Any bed wetting? Depends how much she's had to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve. <laughs> Honestly, no, we do it just fine. He, he loves living here, don't you, Max? Okay. Uh, uh, right, well, uh, we really better get the tea on, so. Auntie Becky makes me fish for No! So, we're all done. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we're obviously doing a great job. He's a lovely little lad. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't forget, we are always on the other end of the phone. We're here to help. Great. <laughs> Although I will still need to see Becky, so uh, will you tell her I'll be in touch about rescheduling? Bye bye. Thanks, Oh, don't worry. He's not mine. It's baby Jack. Yeah. He used to sing that to you when you was a baby. My gran used to sing it to me. <laughs> Do I hold him? Kevin, what are you doing? You can't hold the baby with lucky overalls on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what's that silly Uncle Kevin doing, eh? Sorry, I uh, wasn't thinking. Well, go and get changed, then you can hold him. Go on. I hope you're going to eat all them baked beans. Finally got rid of Miriam. Because I made them special then. I opened the tin. She gave right. me an office number and two mobile numbers because Becky needs to arrange a visit. And then I poured them into the saucepan real careful. Like. Becky! Not now. Not now. When? Do you realise the situation you've got us into? I will sort it. How? Right. How will you sort it? Are you just going to tell her that you and Kylie aren't just sisters, you're identical twins? You could play both parts then, couldn't you? Just change your hair a bit. I said I will sort it. Fine. Well, I'm going to go and pick up my daughter, the one you've dumped with Claire. Remember her? Short, dark hair, largely ignored. Oh, don't be so dramatic. I think I'll leave the amateur dramatics to you. You seem to be quite good at it. Oh, please, just calm down. He's only there. I'm going to take Amy for a pizza. It's the least I can do. Remind her that she's still part of this family. I've finished. Just telling Molly we're thinking about getting an aquarium for the conservatory. You're not getting a fish tank. No, an aquarium. Tea ready? Um, I'll put the veg on. Ah, oh, ta, love. <sighs> Molly and I were just talking about the christening. Next Thursday. Yeah, party in the rovers afterwards. We're gonna make it a really nice day. Right, I should get going. Tara will be wanting a tea too. Oh, can Kevin have a hole first? Um. Oh, typical fella. It's not going to bite you. Uh, oh, come on. It's perfect. 
Oh, you see, he's as soft as anything deep down. Um, I really need to get going. Hey, before you go, you know what they say? Give a baby silver and it'll have good fortune its whole life. Oh, OK. Well, that's an old wife's tale. Yeah, well, I'm an old wife. I'll uh, see you about. Right, see you later. Bye. Hey, Mum, I found out what was making that smell. Rosa has left some nail varnish open. Oh, I knew I could smell something. That's going to be ruined now. Mm, I'll chuck it. He can't just come around like this and ambush me. Nobody's ambushing you. You and Sal are his godparents now. Look at damn sight weirder if I didn't come round. No buts. This is the way it is. You his godfather, that's all. The sooner you get used to it, the better. So Liz is at some brewery do. Meeting, she said. Only last time she went to one of these meetings, she came back about six hours later, pie-eyed. No earrings and only one shoe. <laughs> well, she's a lot of fun, I'll give her that. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, finally. Where are you going? Out. Steve, I've been on since dinner and the bitter needs changing. Flipping terrific. Can I be of help? <sighs> Do you know how to change a barrel? Just Rose Kennedy on a black dress. Who's Rose Kennedy? <sighs> Got off an old. Lead the way, love. <laughs> We should have just dumped him. Mm. No way they might hold more clues. Good thinking, Shaggy. You get Scooby to sniff and me and Belmer will follow on in the mystery machine. Do you know you've a right sarcastic side, you? <laughs> how come I'm Velma? I want to be Daphne. And how come I'm Shaggy? Some lanky nomad with bum fluff and a very disturbing relationship with his great dame. Sounds more like your Chesney. Oh, flipping heck, I've seen better flowers outside Dev's in that same summer. They were left on the steps of the factory with this on them. I don't get it. We were wondering if it's some sort of sick prank, you know, because of Tony and that. Nah, no way. Michelle! She has a bit of service over here. Anyway, I'm more of a Fredney. You know, blonde hair, natural air of authority. Wide range of jumpers. It was really lovely, man, thanks. The things I can do with a pound and a half of mince. I think I'll go up. It's only seven o'clock, sweetheart. Yeah, but I could set my games console up in my bedroom. You don't mind, do you? you? Don't need to hide away upstairs in that tiny little room, sweetheart. Well, I've got command and conquer to keep me occupied. It's been a long day. OK, I'll bring you up a brew and some pudding in a bit. Thanks for the scram, Graham. Actually, just thanks, really. Good night. God bless, love. Well, seems you're forgiven anyway. More like he's, um, I don't know, given up. Never seen him like this before. I dread to think what he'd been like if he hadn't got bail. But I think the legal side is the last thing on his mind. It's, it's just, all these blackouts are just terrifying him. And what's worse, you know, I think, I mean, Graham is the only decent friend he's got. Proper little doubler. Yes. They really cared about each other. Now he's gone too. Let's quit this town! It's not me! Right, Ashley, for God's sake! Let's get him up. Yeah, come on. This is my home! Yeah. Coronation <laughs> Street, where the field! <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. Uh, right. <laughs> You're just too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes up. We can't let Claire seem like this. We better get him home and sober him up. Hey, well, what happened to our quiet night in Graham? No, 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 Hey, Gus says something when a bloke has to come and drag his pregnant wife out of the pub. Sorry, love, lost track of time. Our fault, we had a mystery to solve. Uh, listen, you won't say anything to Carla, will you, about the flowers? I mean, it's probably not to do with anything, but... Last thing she needs is everything dredging up again. Hey, course not. Thanks. I'll chuck them if you want. Yeah, great. Somebody left these on the steps of Underworld. With this. Rest in peace. I still say they were for that bloke, Tony Sharp. You know he's a complex. Yeah, but you leave flowers on someone's grave. You don't put them where they died. What about when you see flowers at the side of a road after a car accident? Oh, it's beyond me, that. I mean, this is the scene of an accident at Harvest Festival. And then the other drivers, they slow down to have a look at the flowers, and then that causes even more crashes. It's one of them self-fulfilling, you know, what's it? I hope you appreciate I've been studying all evening and haven't once commented on the number of rum and cokes you've been chucking down your neck. You've been taking parenting tips from Ozzy Osbourne? Yeah, well, you make sure you get something to eat tonight, all right? I knew it was too good to last. <laughs> 
Shall I bin that card and all? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Weird insect. Yeah, it's probably just a wrong delivery. No, I hope so. Otherwise, someone's got a very sick sense of humour. Claire? Oh, hi. A couple of slices of this should sock it up. <laughs> what we're doing, Saturday, we should be out. Yeah, yeah, he's had a couple. She could hear him singing off his head when we pass the house. Oh, right, come on, here you go, mate. Oh, oh, let, let me speak to him. Uh, no, that is not a good idea. Uh, he wants to speak to you. No. OK. Any messages for him? <laughs> I don't think that's physically possible, but I'll make sure he gets your message. All right, then. OK, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, she's not happy. Get away. Maybe we should leave him for a bit, see if he gets any better. Yeah. I don't think he's going anywhere. So much for our first night back at home, eh? Mm. Well, he's my mate, isn't he? True blood. Go on then. I've just read him a bedtime story, right? And they both felt as What kind of fantasy world do you live in? All right, darling. I know today was a bit mad. Miriam wants to meet Becky. I know. Should we put Michelle in a blonde wig or Sean, maybe? I did what I had to, OK? And I know it was stupid, and I know I've probably made things, like, ten times worse, but I just... reacted, didn't I? It's what I do, I react. Couldn't you have just thought for two seconds, just thought about the consequences? No, I can't. I can't think long-term. I don't know how to. Listen, when you've lived the kind of life that... well, that both me and Kylie have lived... <sighs> Here just... we go. No. I'm not trying to make excuses here, and I ain't trying to blame no one. I'm just saying to you that all I know, because all I was taught, is that when you're hungry, you get food. It doesn't matter how, you just get it. If someone hits you, you hit them back. If they're bigger than you, you run away. If you get accused of something, you deny it, you react. Well, you're going to have to think of a different way, aren't you? Yes, if only it was that easy. Tell you something though. I will do anything to keep that little boy. Anything. And if you can't accept that, then we've got a bigger problem than me lying to social. Becky. No, I'm going to bed because I just want to put today behind me. No, come on. We said we won't go to bed angry anymore. Well, I'm not angry, you are. You stay up. Cold down here. How long have you been up? Uh, about an hour. Should have stayed in bed. What, I listen to you snore? Wake you up again. Nah, Matt's called out in his sleep. I think he was having a nightmare. You all right? Yeah, went in, gave him a cuddle. You were okay after that. Probably missing Kylie. Somebody's got him. He should be used to her not being around. Oh, she is still his mum. Whether we like it or not. Yeah, well, I don't like it. He needs someone who's going to be there for him and not just until something better comes along. Here you go. I'm going to get him and our Amy up. I'm going to give him the breakfast and then I'm going to take him to the park. Well, I will come with you because I've got a football somewhere. I'll dig it out and we'll give the kids a kick about. And what about work? What about it? Hi, hey, Daddy. Hiya, boys. You smell funny. Well, thanks, son. I so see you managed to find your way home, then. I just followed the trail of stone, close to the door. It's Graham and Tina I feel sorry for. As if they haven't got enough problems without you drunkenly foisting yourself on them. I'm going for a shower. Yeah, well, don't be long. I need to get the boys ready. For what? We're going to see my mum. Why? To talk about the move. So you still plan on going ahead with it? I thought I'd made myself clear. And what about me? You know my feelings. No, I don't. That's just it. I thought I meant something to you. I thought this marriage meant something to you. Seems like I'm wrong. Mummy? Yes, love? 
I don't like it when you and Daddy fight. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs>